Hi, my name's Lewis, and this is Surfer, Surface Interval to Diving. Uh, this is one of our first videos, so we may make a couple of snafus or be a little slow, so just bear with us. Um, this time we are traveling aboard a Carnival cruise ship to some different destinations, and we thought you might want to know what kind of things we can bring. Um, we bring most of our travel gear to our scuba diving equipment to where we only have to uh, use tanks and weights from the sites that we go to and this is some of the gear that we travel in. Uh, when we travel we use we go by planes, we use a seven pound Akona travel bag that is aircraft compliant and can fit in the overhead bin. Um, this is my wife's bag right here. She happens to usually carry uh, more equipment in her bag than I do. But it, as you see, it's a nice size duffel bag. It has pockets on each side here and here. It has a pull-up handle. So it, is, it can be traveled or we can pull it down. It does have wheels on the back and a very nice compartment for identification for your cards in the back. Now, like I said, we carry most of our gear in here. The only thing that we do not carry in this bag due to size is our dive fins. And we carry those in our travel duffel bags. Now, the travel duffel bags have to be at least 30 inches long so that we can fit the fins in the bottom. And those are, that is basically a full size dive fin that we use with a boot. In those bags we will also carry a backpack where we unpack our gear in the room and we will put them into these mesh bags that we carry off the ship as backpacks. And the type of bags we use here it's a stall sack uh, Bonaire. Uh, yes Bonaire is the kind that we carry and they have a nice side zipper compartment right here where we can unzip to get to our gear while the bag is still tied up. And another additional feature that I like here is it has a built-in dry sack into the back to where we can keep a towel all the way down to our skins if we want to put a dive skin down in there and keep it dry in case we want to use it or not. It does roll down and it has a Velcro closure right here that will roll up directly and form a nice seal to keep the clothing or whatever is in the bag completely dry. It's a very large bag, has a drawstring closure and I'll show you how we pack that. Um, we have our full size dive fins. Me and my wife carry this same Scuba Pro Twin Jet Max. Love the um, these, and they are to be worn with boots. So if you want to um, use a full foot fin, you can do that. But we prefer having a shoe to put on in case we have to walk over a rocky beach or onto the pavement. The first thing we're going to put in the bag right here is the fins, and they will go against the back piece all the way down in the bag and we will have those down like that. So that is the first thing in the bag and the reason I put that in first is because it makes a nice solid place that will go against your back so in case your other gear is in here it will not poke you on the back or you don't have anything digging in the back if you're going to be carrying this a uh, fair distance. Now I'm going to start off opening up the bag here. It has a nice Velcro handle for carrying it on this side. Closure strap buckle here and here. Um, we do check our bags at times so we do have the travel locks that we put on here. TSA approved. If um, 
you're interested in that, you can leave comments and I'll tell you exactly what kind of travel locks we use and um, where you can find those at. I'll try and link to the gear that we do use and we'll put this below the video as well and in the description. Now, my wife likes for me to pack everything in here, so she likes me to put her boots in as well, in which these are her Scuba Pro, and they are, it's a nice solid boot heel and has a good arch support for her, and we put those in the bags as well, but they do fit very nicely in the, the travel bag as well. And that was one, and this is the other right here. And that goes into the bag. Next thing, uh, my wife uses a Scuba Pro Bella BC, and that is a full-size back inflation. And notice we can pull things out right here. I can spread the whole item open. We have her snorkel, which I can put down on the side right there. And my wife likes to carry her camera equipment in her dive bag as well because she likes to pack other things in the checked luggage. This is one of the cameras that we'll use and I'll be going over the camera equipment in a later video. So I'm going to take the camera equipment here and set it aside and there's other parts of that in here as well. Uh, one of the ways that I have packed this is with the BC down in the bottom first, opened up the side straps, and everything else that we carry as far as our regs, our mask, uh, goes inside this so it folds up around and saves space. We have the, um, this is the Scuba Pro um, set of regs. And I'm going to wait, instead of packing this right now, I'm going to set this off to the side right here. i got to put my, cam my computer in there, so that's why. And, yes, the computer that we normally have in here is not in the holder yet. We've got to still put that in because we are changing batteries out and making sure everything was okay. And we just had these serviced from our local shop. Um, the other thing we put in here, and... My wife likes to wear a hood because she tends to get cold and the hood helps keep the heat in her body and keep her a little warmer but I like to put the mask into the hood and the reason why is there are so many metal buckles here on the in the bag such as the D-rings here and the metal tags here and any of the other buckles or zippers I don't want to scratch the lens so I tend to put the mask into the headpiece and that protects the outer lens from getting scratched or anything else the um, basically the rest of this can be pulled directly out from the headpiece and as you see I have unclipped the snaps that go for the shoulder clips here which while in travel I do that so it creates more space and I can fold everything flatter once we get back here I will um, reattach these before I drop it into the bag and dropping it into the bag is simple just by taking the whole piece once everything's out, folding over and taking, this is our air tube breather where a lot of people would use an octopus, a spare octopus, the yellow hose. This air tube takes the place of that. So that is just one less piece of equipment that we have to attach to our BCs. This folds over, slides nicely, right down in place. We can stand it upright and it fits into the bag very nicely. Anything else would be 
for her camera equipment. This is her bottom mount. This is a um, safety sausage that we keep in there. Um, some of the different connectors, which it has a nice outside pocket on the stall sack for small items if you want to carry those. And it just folds up nice right there. Another item, these um, scuba tube lights. This is a solar rechargeable light that you can attach and um, to your tank and it will glow um, if you're in a dark situation you'll be able to find your partner later um, once this thing is charged up it has between a four to eight hour life so plenty of time to be in the water and back out um, I really don't use the side pockets in this bag for much of anything because everything fits inside. Now, if you want to put a snorkel in there, the snorkels are usually a little bit long, but if you can separate at the bend pipe, then both pieces will fit down in there. Um, they are nice pockets. They have, this one is plain right here. The other pocket over here has a lot of carry accessory pockets built in so if you want to put spare batteries pen pencil cell phones anything down here in the pocket and it has a nice little zipper compartment to where and a key attachment to where you won't lose your room key or anything else while it's there so this bag is almost nine years old. It's been a very durable, very well used bag, but there's still no signs of aging. It has held up very well through airports. We've gone through many cruise terminals with it. We've actually checked it on cruises. There's been no damage whatsoever to the bag. I highly recommend this bag. So. Again, this is the Akona seven pound bag. Akona makes a, um, a nine pound bag as well that is a bit larger but it is not um, TSA aircraft compartment compliant this is the compliant bag and as you see we have tags all over this thing in the nine years that we've had it the wheels have been drug everywhere around every airport and they are great wheels they're not tearing up the, it holds up very well very solid durable bag again this is what we carry if you have any questions please leave the questions in the comment section below we'll be glad to answer anything as quickly as we can and as completely as we can um, the bag here this has once we close this up it does have a drawstring closure and we pull this and since the drawstring is these things slip a little bit my personal preference is to tie a single overhand knot like you would a balloon to pull through just so if it does try to slide open it'll stop at that point but the backpack is very nice very sturdy and it it really carries everything well if it needs help loading it onto the boat there is a side carry handle right here where you can pick it up and hand it over to your dive master if you do have problems unzipping this as i said before in the video it does have the, the nice side zipper you can reach in here get things in the back find a boot pull it out really easy to get to things and this does drain very well um so if you come back and like we're on a cruise ship here we will leave our gear in the bag except for the regulators and we can place it out on the balcony or we can place it on the in the shower to drain and dry and you don't have your entire room um, smelling like a wetsuit would after you've just come back in from a dive. Again, my name is Lewis. Thank you for watching Surface Interval to Diving. 
and we hope to see you in our, our next video and hear from you and see you next time.